That was in January of 1986. I was a junior in college. 25 years ago. It was actually Columbia, and it was the Challenger that was 10 days after us, Shepard. Oh, that's right. That then exploded. Wow. Senator, to, you have lived this space program. You have, you have uh, presided over it in many ways as a, as a legislator and a senator. What are your thoughts today? Well, as the previous uh, astronaut just told you, Garrett Reisman, that uh, we now have a whole new chapter of NASA. Uh, we are developing two lines of rockets, one that will go to and from the space station, and uh, Garrett's company is going to launch one version of that this fall. They're going to carry uh, cargo up to the space station and rendezvous and dock. And the other line is the big rocket on the goal to go to Mars. Now, we have to develop the technologies to sustain life for a mission to Mars, but that will start and has already started. NASA awarded the uh, capsule contract, and any day now we'll hear about the architecture of the big rocket. Mm. Ten, Ten or 11,000 jobs that connected to this in and around Brevard County and all along the Space Coast. How, much of, how many of those are you losing, and, and, and when do you expect some of them might come back? At the Kennedy Space Center, we were at 15,000. We're going down to about 8,500, and those are terrible losses for individuals. But as the new rockets start ramping up, we will raise that back up to over 10,000 employed here, plus another 10,000 that are employed right across the river over there at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. For people who have never visited this coast, it's always struck me, even in my days 20 years ago working in the Orlando market, what a step back in time it feels. So much of old Florida is really preserved here. It's, it's, it's quite a spot. And the pioneers are the ones who really made it possible. Back when there were rattlesnakes and alligators and mosquitoes, oh, you oh, remember oh. the mosquitoes. Oh, my goodness. Uh, and uh, they forged out of this Florida wilderness a spaceport that has taken us to extraordinary heights and is now going to take us to Mars. Your state has been through a lot. Your economic troubles have been well documented. How's Florida? Uh, Florida is tough compared to the rest of the country because we had so much housing that when the bubble burst, uh, our recovery is a lot slower than the rest of the country. Uh, but it's coming. And you can feel it, and you can feel the, the little bit, and you can see little bits of the economic recovery. Well, I, I tell you, it was incredible to feel that rumble yet again today. I uh, haven't felt that since the sort of rebirth of the shuttle program years ago. Senator Nelson, good luck to you and all my friends in the Sunshine State. Thanks, Shepard. You're the best. <laughs> Thank you, Senator. Appreciate it.